Okay, we're here at gotomat.com. Click on the algebra. Let's go down to simplifying rational expressions, and we're going to be doing 6.1. And we'll just write that right here. Six. Um, I think it actually says six dash two at the top. But. Okay, so um, I'm kind of switching gears here on uh, these videos. I'm uh, going to be working more than more than one problem. So, all right. So let's say that we have one over the square root of seven. And we're going to be asked to rationalize the denominator. Rationalize, that means we want to get this radical out of the denominator. And we're going to do that. Here, we'll use a different color. By multiplying the denominator by the square root of 7 and then the numerator by the square root of 7. All right. Okay. Now, what happens is... is of course, we got 1 times 7, or 1 times the square root of 7, over. And then, now remember, we can uh, join these together all under one radical. So this is 7 times 7, but this, you know, this is the explanation on, on why it's going to be equal to 7 here in a minute. So then we have the square root of 7. We'll just write that. And then 7 times 7, 7 squared. Now I'm going to get this out of radical form and put this uh, with a uh, rational coefficient, which I call exponential form. And now what you can do is multiply the exponents. Um, we'll say equals here. Right, we multiply the exponents and we're just left with 7. So as you can see here, the square root of if this were square root of 3 times square root of 3, it would just be equal to 3. And here's the reason why. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at uh, let's take a look at another one. So let's say we had 1 over the square root of 20. Square root of 20. All right. First thing I'm going to look at, though, before I multiply this by the square root of 20 over the square root of 20, I'm going to see if I can actually break this down and it turns out that uh, two numbers multiplied together to give us 20 is 4 times 5. But look at 4. 4 is a square. And that means that uh, I, I'm going to go ahead and break these up now. It's kind of the reverse of what we did here. And so we have the square root of 4 times the square root of 5. But since 4 is a perfect square, the square root of a square is going to be uh, 2, right? And so this just becomes 1 over 2 times the square root of 5. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and get the radical now out of the denominator. <clears throat> and we'll do that by multiplying the square root of 5 times the denominator. And then, of course, we got to do that up here, too that. So with this multiplication of 1 times square root of 5 is just square root of 5 and then over. So the square root of 5 times square root of 5 is 5 and therefore we end up with the square root of 5 over 10. The square root of 5 over 10. Okay. So hopefully you uh, are getting that down. All right, we're over here at gotomath.com. I'll see you in the next problem.